Okay, a requirement for hydrocarbon accumulation, we need a source rock, we need the kitchen, the origin of petroleum. Petroleum was not where it is today. It was cooked somewhere else, and it was cooked due to the organic theory. The migration media, we need the migration media, so when it was cooked, it had a way to migrate upward. We need porosity, we need pores in the rocks. If there were no pores in the rocks, and the pores were not interconnected, the, even if there was oil source rock available, they would have been just sitting there trapped in the pores because the pores were not interconnected. So porosity is another very important uh, property of the rocks and it is defined as the ratio of its total pore space to its total volume. So porosity of a rock is the ratio of its total pore space to its total volume. And it is typically expressed in percentages. It could vary anywhere from 5% to 25% porosity in the rocks. The lower the porosity, the lower will be the accumulation of oil and gas. The higher the porosity, we have higher accumulation. Just simple as that. This slide also just shows you the pores that we have, the rocks in the formation, the pores, and how the oil travels through these pores. So you can see the dark blue in the slide that is passing through these pores and that is exactly how it is taking place when we start producing. The oil is flowing through the pores, it's not a river there. Permeability, as I said, it is a very, very essential property of the rocks. Essential characteristic of a reservoir is its ability to allow the flow of fluids through it. A rock that contains connective porosity and allows the flow of fluids through it is called permeable. Some rocks are more permeable than the others. And the permeability can range anywhere from 0.001 milli Darcy to 5,000 milli Darcy. The unit that we use, the Darcy or the milli Darcy, is after the scientist called Darcy. He invented this phenomena of the rocks and that's why he called this unit as Darcy, similar as kilogram or uh, pound or stuff like that.